The fifth rule for righteous relationships is found in verse 31. He says, Let all bitterness, wrath, and anger, and clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. The fifth and the final uh, rule for righteous relationships is that we are to forgive one another and be kind. You know, in the Gentile world, there was anger and resentment and bitterness. What is bitterness? Bitterness is a root sin, I believe, of all the rest of the sins in, in that verse. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking, and malice be put away from you. Bitterness is the root. The rest are the fruit. Bitterness is harboring hurt over events of the past. I don't just think it's getting upset and angry. I think, it, I think it's those events that come in our life many times that are either very, very shocking or there are things that take place in our life over a long period of time and we just kind of, kind of lose it. It's usually a sense of great disappointment or a sense where we are treated in a manner that's not fair. And so we begin to harbor hurt and that hurt grows over a period of time. And the fruit of that is anger and wrath. Anger is that slow burn. Wrath is that explosion. Losing your temper. Clamor and evil speaking, that's what comes out of our mouth. Clamor is arguing with one another. Evil speaking is speaking either evil to the face or behind the back. Speaking evil to the face is either, either, either attacking them or cursing them. Behind the back, speaking evil would be slander or gossip. And the intent of all of this is malicious or malice. It's getting back. Hurting people want to hurt people. And so the Apostle Paul says these things as believers are to be put away. Why? Because this reflects the old life. Lying. Anger. Stealing. Corrupt words. That's all reflections of the Gentile lifestyle. It's not a reflection of the new life lifestyle. all reflections of the Gentile lifestyle. It's not a reflection of the new life lifestyle. 